Jason, can you tell us a little bit about the links you and this production went through to make it as authentic as possible? Did the fact that it was based on real people and a real story affect that? Yeah, absolutely. You want to get you want to get all the details right with Adam and and Amanda and to Solo and and Emery and and uh, and find a way into these people so that you can bring uh, the sense of who they are and unique individuals to the screen and. Um, no, we tried to. We filled the VA with real veterans. We tried to. Uh, we tried to get a sense of authenticity in in every scene that we could. Um, whether that comes down to the way someone's house was decorated or how it laid out, uh, you know, get into Solo's house right and get in some of those decorations and trying to find the things that we had pictures of that were on walls, uh, the license plates, the the uniforms, the. Uh, you know, down to time specific, everything needed to be time specific. So we went to great lengths to uh, to get everything right that we could. Uh, every detail that you can reach out and grab, we tried to get um, because I just think it brings a level of authenticity and, and the truth resonates differently than uh, something you just made up. Adam, um, talk to me a little bit about getting to know the actors and how that impacted your decision to be a part of the film. Yeah, it was, uh, Jason Miles came up to visit me home in North Dakota and hung out and uh, they just uh, started peeling away the onion, so to speak, and uh, just absorbing it. And I, I really, you know, started feeling a positive vibe. And this is, they, you know, they were going into it with the right intentions and their heart was in it. And to see how much ownership Jason has taken on this and, and all the other actors and everybody just threw everything they had into it. And uh, to see that on a day-to-day -day process is just gradually throughout the whole thing just really enveloped me into this, this project. I love it. Jason, um, how did this band of actors come together to tap into the real people and create something beautiful? What uh, talents and passion did they bring to these roles? I think everybody brought a level of inquisitiveness to their part and, uh, and really found a way to, uh, to inhabit the people that they're portraying. And, and bring an essence of them to the screen. I think um, you know we had a we had a boot camp where everybody went through the boot camp and and uh, the the guys really got to know each other under duress, under stress. What what that person felt like behind them or to the side of them, uh, who was weak in certain moments and who was strong, who they could depend on, who they could lean on, um, and they they really brought that bond to the screen, which I think was was just really important and. I think it shows in every scene with them on the screen together. And this is one for both of you guys. Um, tell us a little bit, or what impact do you hope this story has? I hope that people see this movie and they see what our soldiers go through when they come home. So, so let me start that over. I hope people go see this movie because I think there's a truth in this movie that maybe they haven't understood before. Of, of the great lengths that these guys go to uh, in combat and then what they have to go through when they come home. And uh, I hope it brings a new level of understanding to the civilian population and, uh, and we can start a conversation to finally welcome these guys home. That's it. I want it to be a, uh, I want it to start stirring up the sediment of a lot of stuff and issues that have been forgotten about and uh, not thought about in a long time and, and bridge the gap between people that want to understand and maybe don't know how and veterans and, and help everybody share their stories and, and help each other out. That's it. Just help each other out.